The deadly nonstop anti-vaping war being waged by the FDA is based more on emotion than science. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. To hear most public health officials, led by the FDA, tell it, you'd think vaping was as deadly as smoking cigarettes. They've certainly misled the public with this lethal falsehood. 64% of Americans think using e-cigarettes is as bad or even worse than smoking tobacco cigarettes. The reality is the opposite. The only thing e-cigarettes have in common with regular cigarettes is inhaling nicotine. That substance is addictive, but not lethal. What makes tobacco cigarettes so deadly are all the other substances, most especially tar and carbon monoxide. E-cigarettes have no tar. Most users of e-cigarettes get the same kick as inhaling tobacco without such life-threatening dangers. Vaping is the most effective tool for giving up tobacco smoking, almost twice as effective as FDA-approved products such as nicotine patches, gum, and lozenges. It's why British health authorities see vaping as a critical tool in getting people to cease tobacco smoking. Other countries have come to the same conclusion. The National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine say, quote, substituting e-cigarettes for combustible tobacco cigarettes reduces users' exposure to numerous toxicants and carcinogens present in combustible tobacco cigarettes. Yet, despite the evidence that vaping is 95% safer than smoking, the FDA and others continue to wage war against e-cigarettes, thereby endangering the health, if not the lives, of millions of smokers who want to give up the habit. Their justification is the huge increase in vaping among teenagers. They say it's a gateway to regular cigarettes. What's their evidence? None. In fact, surveys by the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, undermine their scare tactics. Between 2011 and 2020, vaping among high schoolers went from 1.5% to almost 20%. But cigarette smoking dropped from 15.8% to 4.6%. The overall use of nicotine products went down. Remember, tobacco cigarettes are vastly more dangerous than vaping. Of course, one shouldn't inhale anything into the lungs except oxygen. But in the real world, people indulge in pleasures health nannies don't approve of. But there are real differences among those indulgences. For health authorities to equate Vaping with inhaling cigarette smoke is blatantly false and counterproductive. Relentlessly trying to ban e-cigarette products will simply increase regular cigarette smoking. San Francisco in 2018 banned e-cigarettes. Tobacco smoking among teenagers and young adults increased. The FDA has suffered recent judicial setbacks in its malicious attempts to strangle the industry, but make no mistake, the relentless, ill-conceived, and often ill-informed attacks against vaping won't cease. The settlement of various states with Juul Labs over charges that had marketed to underage users will be used to attack vaping in general. Where is the science when lives depend upon it? I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.